No, can I get a uh, cashier check for 100k? We don't do that here. Oh, okay. Can I get a uh, what's those like slurpy thing? Is the blue one? Slurpy. What's that? Uh, medium. Thank you. So we're buying a truck for no reason. We were literally gonna buy this truck just to roll up to the show, and it literally got rained out. So now we're just buying a truck for no reason. On today's episode of Impulse Facebook Marketplace Decisions, I have a like strange addiction to black vehicles. If you haven't noticed, every single one of my personal vehicles are black now. I was actually looking for fifth gens because Abby wants a fifth gen right now. So I was on Marketplace looking for Mega Cab fifth gens, and I found one, and uh, it's black, and she wants a white one. So obviously, it's for me. I'm buying the black one, and then if anybody out there is selling a white fifth gen mega cab, preferably with a red lift, 30 inch wheels, preferably JTXs, let me know. And then if not, we'll just buy a stock one, cut the lift off of my fourth gen, and then put it on the fifth gen, and then I can get a new lift. I put little little hints in Abby's brain while she's sleeping. I whisper in her ear, I'm like, buy a fifth gen. So that's what happened. Yeah, just so then I can get rid of my plan B fab lift. Trick me into it, buying your lift so that you can get a brand new lift for cheaper. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, that's what I've been doing for the past. How long have we known each other? We're on our way. Got my cashier's check for McDonald's. That's not Red Bull. Hopefully, we'll be going home with a brand new truck today. Well, they got yeah. a lot of toys. They got a second gen, a square body. That one looks like it was part of the burn down train. Should have used Jesus. Pretty cool. Not almost as cool as your setup. Every bell and whistle, when I bought it, I had to have a Tesla screen. If it ain't got a screen, I don't want it. I don't it. want it, yeah. yeah. Same thing I did with mine. This guy owned, lived in Memphis, Tennessee. You know, it was like Dolph. Dolph. Dolph owned this. <laughs> my, my idea was, I don't know, you know Stryker. Yep. So I know Kyle and Tyler really well. Well, actually, two years ago, me and you were across from each other in the show, Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. Yep. You yep. had your truck, your big old Ford dually in front yep. of me. I wanted the Stryker kit underneath of it. That's probably what's going on. Four link air. Well, I may be able to help you with that. Oh, you have one. No. Polish shocks, polish face plates. No way. I probably part ways with it because I ain't gonna use it. What for are the me. odds? Dual front steering stabilizers. It's got every sway bar in link. It's got polished sway bar in link. It came off my 2016. And yeah. I called Tyler and I said it will fit. He's like identical. Yeah. He's like it's the same truck. He's like the only thing you gotta change is the drop bracket for the front um track bar. Track bar. Yep. You gotta change that. He's like it's 150 bucks. So I just test drive it around the block or whatever. Okay. We'll worry about It is definitely a fifth gen, and it definitely needs 10. It's actually very, very nice. This is, okay, so it's a Laramie Midnight Edition. I think that basically just means that, uh, it's not black. It, it came color match from the factory. The AC work? Yes, works great. That's good, because it's hotter than fully loaded Mega Cab. My last one was Limited Longhorn, and I low-key like this interior better. I like the black. That's just a yeah. cover? That's the nicest steering wheel cover I've ever seen. And it's bone stock, like, we're driving a Tesla right now. Obviously, we have to make sure our drag truck is fast. And go. Yeah, we're gonna need a, a little more power than that. Is it even on? It's a very nice cruiser though. It feels like you're, you're rich. It feels like it's, a, it's the Cadillac of all trucks, let's be honest. Besides these tires, oh my god, it sounds like there's boggers on it. Holy it's probably because it's not deleted, so it's just so quiet. This is really, really bumpy road, and we'll just drive it down the bumpy road. The exhaust will just fall off. Fall off, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's your seatbelt. Oh, I forgot. Damn. New trucks are lame. Are those fucking chickens? Bro, those are my brothers. Chill out, bro. They look like you. I, mean, I think I think we should buy it and hood stack it. <laughs> we do have a hood stack in the- I don't pay you to give me your opinion. <laughs> you do have a GFP hood stack. I do have a GFP hood stack, but that's for me. Oh my God, it's not a second gen. Everything, like all the buttons worked, all the windows worked. Yeah, I'm kind of like done buying uh, old trucks. If, if I buy an old truck, it has to have like the lowest of the lowest miles. And then from now on, I'm just gonna buy new stuff. Put it this way, you could buy a second gen and you could put 50 grand into it to make it nice. Or you could just buy a $100,000 nice truck and what are the odds that he has the lift that i'm literally, literally looking at buying it was meant to be all righty let's go pay this man hey nice truck where'd you get it my daddy bought it for me we have a fifth gen Again. we have a fifth gen this is only my second fifth gen i like this one better than the first one see nobody knows but when i went and bought my fifth gen i wanted a black one but they didn't have it I had to wait like two extra weeks, so I just bought the white one. If I would have bought that exact truck, I would have never sold it to Blake. Quick, 
month was I born in? Uh, June. June. You know what the birthstone is for June? Ruby. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Ruby. This is my 2015 GMC 2500, and it could be yours. From now until August 20th, we're giving this truck away. It's got a tune and deleted LML with a straight pipe. It sounds amazing. It does sick, nasty burnout. Satin chrome red wrap. Thanks to our guys over at Mittens Customs. It looks beautiful. Snaps everybody's necks when you drive it down the road. 24 by 14 JTX forged wheels wrapped in 33 inch Venom tires. It's got a high country leather interior, fully loaded with Starlight headliner. Enough rock lights to light up space and so much more. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below to get entered today super simple act fast because for the next 48 hours we're doing a times four entry multiplier so take advantage of the sale get entered today and who knows in less than three weeks we could be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck what are you gonna give me for my birthday i mean like 15 grand would be nice and i could buy grand? the stretch high booster that i want okay we, we can do that i just won't work for like 15 months no you'll work for 15 months i just won't pay you for 15 months that that's right yeah We've owned this truck for like a day, now a full 24 hours, and we're already putting it to work, as you should. Last time I tried to haul with a fifth gen, uh, I broke the T case like three times and fell out of it. Well, this one is in G56 swap, so hopefully we don't have that problem. Also, if you guys like subscribe, maybe we can get to like a million subscribers and I could actually afford a fucking hydraulic trailer. Go back. Stop. Stop. For just a millisecond, I thought the fucking whole gooseneck bar was about to snap. This. I've been doing this since I was like five years old, bro. Kind of blew a tire, by the way, on the trailer. What? You sure did. What? Just, just now. Just when you, now? When you hit it. Huh. Still have that. It's just rubber. I know a guy. Maybe that's how I blew the trailer tire the first time when I was randomly coming back from whatever state that was. Anyway, so we got a first gen frame. It's pretty sick. Uh, it's got like a, a 20 inch lift. I stole it from Blake when I decided I didn't want to own my drag truck anymore. We traded. It's got this like patina look right now and I'm I'm not really into the, the old school. So we're going to take it over to powder coat and uh, make it pretty. Also, uh, 2500 fifth gen pulls freaking great. There's uh, actually a bed full of stuff. We got the whole six inch striker lift that's going on this truck. Obviously it's white now uh, i'm gonna repowder coat it some other color so we're gonna powder coat the lift powder coat that so much powder my powder coat guy is gonna love me yeah i forgot my certification allowed me to do this in oh, the did? proper way yeah yeah because yeah. i went to school you did for everything what what's, what school was that um forklift school that's <laughs> right. imagine buying a roller that doesn't even fucking roll <laughs> it rolls nah, nah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a small price so it don't set just drop it. It's not like it's expensive or anything. Nah. You don't have body damage. Yeah, there is none. Is it yeah, it just hangs off a little bit. Is that legal? Yeah. Right mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Megan hangs over like a foot on each side. It's like the same thing. Oh. Don't scratch the redhead steering box. I think he closes his eyes whenever he lifts up with the forklift. Yeah, look at him. He's just looking away. <laughs> Legit. Damn. Dude, this flexed out. They want it to articulate. Baja first. Baja first, Jim? That'd be kind of lit. We're going to jump it either way. Yeah, it's going to get jumped, you know. That's just like a durability a test. Yeah. Don't tilt it too much. All the gas will fall out. I think we made it to the right spot. That are about to get shot by a bunch of redheads. So I think I figured out what color we're going to do. I was debating if I wanted to build a badass first gen giveaway truck with this or put my 1400 horsepower P124 valve in it and then buy a black body and keep it. I'm thinking hot pink or a burgundy. It's all hot pink frame, hot pink axles, polished overlays. Yeah. And we'll call it like the Barbie killer or something like that, I don't know. There's many like Barbie Jeep girls and Barbie first gens and Barbie, Barbie movie. Somebody's gotta like go against the Barbies. How did the trap get backwards, Brian? I don't know, man. We're gonna send you off to strapping school so you can learn how to strap shit down. Yeah, that'll probably be a good investment. That's an interesting forklift. Yeah. I think we need one of these for the house. You should buy one. 100%. On JTXs? Yes. Sounds like Blake's truck. Time to do some sketchy shit. <laughs> so they're just gonna lift it up and I'm gonna drive forward. It sounds like a good idea in my head, so I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens. It should work. Fuck it. I'm only like 100,000 into it because I kind of like traded my drag truck for it. They're about a million into it, to be honest. Like three and a half million. Three and a half. 
3.5 million. Yeah, nothing too shabby. Light weekends work. We're out here doing durability tests. Truck's not even driving yet. It's gonna have a rough life from birth. Yeah, that makes it tough. Something like that. I've mentally prepared myself to not have a friction anymore. Well, we bought a fifth gen. Again, this is the second time we've done this in uh, the GFP channel history. And uh, I think we did better the second time than the first time. I learned from my mistake. Don't buy an ASIN because you're going to have to rip out the ASIN and put a G56 in it. And then you're going to spend literally the same price as this truck into the, the other fifth gen. So yeah, I... I originally bought this beautiful two-tone white. Uh, it was a single rear wheel. I crashed it into a tree after I put it into a lake. I duly converted it, decided that I wanted to make it a six-speed, made the first G56 swap fifth gen in the world. It was so cool, fine and dandy, except for the fact that nothing fucking worked. Didn't tow a trailer. It didn't do burnout. It made cool noises and it got a lot of views and everybody loved it on the internet, but owning it absolutely sucked. So I decided to try again. Jackal. 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 Because that truck's name is Hyde. And this is like its little brother. So I just name it Jackal, like Jackal and Hyde, the movie from like the 60s or whatever. This is Jackal. It's a 2019 Ram 2500. Not a 3500 like the other one was. But it's the Midnight Edition. So I came factory with all these black badges and shit. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I should have bought this one from the beginning. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's been going on with me lately. But I love black everything. Black trucks, black interior. This one has fully loaded black interior it has like these like little suede parts kind of like the car that's in the garage that we haven't revealed yet but i mean it is like a hundred thousand dollar truck so you'd expect it to be really good quality it's got the big screen because you can't have a fifth gen if you don't have the big tesla screen if you do poverty i really don't know like just go buy a fourth gen if you don't buy a fifth gen with a big screen it you might as well just have a fourth gen it's a mega cab so we can take all the kids to soccer practice or uh take your girlfriend out to get ice cream girlfriends i could fit like six of them back here or just Ryan's camera. I know it's nothing too impressive because everybody complains whenever I buy built trucks. So we try to buy stock ones to build for you guys. So then you guys are a little more entertained. Has a couple modifications as this ugly ass rough country bumper. I know, I know. Kevin, Skane F450 up in Missouri. He picked up a stock bumper for me. He should be bringing it this weekend. I think it's Karma because I hated on Blake's truck so yeah. bad. Of course, the truck that I buy has an ugly front end. I gave him a run for his money. I think rough country is still better than it Brian said he was, he was driving down the and he was like why is everybody flashing me and i'm like do you have the front light bars on and he says oh yeah these headlights from factory are already bright enough <laughs> and then you have these it's got these 24 i think these are 24 14 pis's and 33's those are temporary obviously the lift is that powder right now and i'm ordering some jtx's for it there's nothing really else it's just basically just your everyday fit gen it's not even tuned and deleted yet <laughs> We would never do that because that's frowned upon in our country. So we're going to keep it stock until we drive down a road and there's we hit a bump and the exhaust falls off. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on what we should do to this truck. Black, so it looks really good with the rest of my collection. You can't see any of them because we haven't even revealed half of the trucks I'm talking about. But I think she'll be a good part of the team. So nice to have a nice drivable truck that doesn't have a 20-inch lift or, may, or maybe a 20-inch lift with 44s. It's a nice daily. It drives really nice. Actually, we're, we're about to take it down to Georgia because I got to Go pick up some car parts actually so the truck will get used about it i'm gonna go on a road trip so see you bye <laughs>